Hey everybody, it's phase two with this resin project here that I'm working on. Um, I got one coat on it last time and I had some resin malfunctions. So I'm gonna work on it again. Um, I didn't get, uh, I didn't get, um, get it ever, I, I wanted uh, the back to have some spillover, um, and I wanted, uh, to get all the way up to the sand, of course, especially with, uh, with some, uh, sort of aquamarine colored, um, uh, resin uh, and I didn't get that done because it all hardened to it all got real I mean it overheated is what I'm trying to say um, I don't know why um, you know sometimes that happens and um, I've read that it can be because of Oh, lots of things, but, uh, contamination or, um, it being overheated to begin with from your water bath, which is always an option with me because I get it really hot, um, because I like it to be real fluid, and, um, so I'm sure that's a risk that I run, but, um, I really don't know what happened to it, and I, I mean, you never know, you know, I mean, most of the time, I don't know how you would, you know, sometimes it just does that, it gets super hot, super fast, and, um, you can't, this one's doing fine, um, but you can't control it, and there's nothing you can do except work as fast as you can to try to get all your, uh, stuff done, you know, get it out. <laughs> Um, this was much better, but I would have put a second coat on it anyway. You know, that was just the first layer I would have done this anyway, but, um, I was pissed off because I, I don't like it when it does that. Um, but, uh, anyway, here we are again, and, uh, this time it'll be, here's my Prussian blue for my dark coat that I want to put over the back mostly but kind of throughout too um, anyway um, yeah I was really pissed um, because I hate it when it does that it's hard to work with when it gets hot like that you can't touch it and uh, it's very hard to manipulate and anyway I was really mad and um, I just had to suck it up and so I got on with it and um, here we are. But like I said, I would have put this coat on it anyway. Uh, oh, I'm stuck. I never had one stuck that good. That was that was pretty bad. Okay, still got one more color over here. Um, that was stuck to the table, baby. Okay, and now we're gonna put this light color in the foreground up here to be kind of like the. Um, I'm not going to be in this video for long, y'all, because I got to, okay, before you do that, I can, actually, okay, I'm going to put this, like, subscribe, and hit the bell while she's doing this, I guess, alright, thanks, man, bye, bye, Yeah, that's pretty. That's what I 
I want it is a kind of an aquamarine-ish um, color up here at the, the sand. And I'll get that kind of mixed around. Okay, now. swirl just a little bit of these other colors into it just so it doesn't look so starkly different but I wanted it to be definitely lighter at the front yes. okay okay now now in order to put the the uh, waves I do this um, I get a little bit of this left over and I meant to save more than this but I didn't so you drizzle some of this up at the front where you're gonna put your wave you don't have to do this part I don't guess but I don't know I was told taught to do it that way and then uh, you get your white and you put it along that area that you just drizzled okay. and then uh, a little bit more out there okay now Hit it with the torch first. Okay. Then we're gonna get the heat gun. Now my heat gun is probably gonna set off my smoke alarm. I don't know how to disable them. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Uh, Wait a minute, heat gun didn't even turn on the other day. I hope it works. Oh, good. Because after I had this huge debacle the other day, I couldn't even get the damn thing to turn on. And I was afraid I had dropped it on its head too many times, or uh, maybe I just overworked it. Anyway, I hope the smoke alarm doesn't go off, but if it should, it'll stop in just a minute it's going to do it for a minute and then it'll stop and it's really annoying I'll tell you right now it's, and it scares me every time it goes off I jump but it will stop oh isn't that pretty okay this is uh, al you might al you might um, I'll look the white um, and I like it because of the way it does the lacing I think it's uh, a real good white for lacing. So you hit it with the torch first off to get it really hot. And then as soon after as you can, you hit it with this. And I go over it like this, um, going perpendicular at first. And that kind of disperses it and liquefies it. And then you can go backwards. And then that makes your wave. See there? I hope the alarm won't go off until I can get this done. I'm trying to hurry. Okay, so you look one side by going perpendicular. And then you push out by going sideways. Liquify. And go out. Now, since it's not real big, I don't want it to go out real far. 
that's about right. I don't want it to go out any further than that because I don't have that much space. And I'm going to do a smaller one here in a minute that's got even less space. Now I like to wash my wave up on the, up, up on the shore a little bit like that. It makes it look nice and real. And I probably won't resin this this top, the sand, because the sand is real. And if I resin it, it's going to look all shiny. Not real, you know. chemicals I use. Um, I've never had any problems. And I've always done it just this way. I read somewhere somebody was concerned about breathing in the alcohol from alcohol eaters. I can't believe that. I said, oh please. If you're that worried about it, you shouldn't be an artist. Right, in that, in that wave there. 
It's not supposed to be a big wave. It's a little wave. You know how you see in the ocean, if you look far out, you'll see little ones out there. And bigger ones, but little ones. I like the little ones. Because I don't have space for the big ones, so. Better to keep them kind of small, or else it looks uh, out of proportion. that I get paint on my sand. And I'll have to fix that. I'll paint over it or something. I'll fix it. for a friend of mine that I went to nursing school with and haven't seen in years. Cool. I like that. I'm going to smooth this out a little bit right here. Just to break that up. Good. Time to quit. Alright, time to quit. Yeah, I'll just scratch that off or else I'll get some paint and uh, paint over it. I think that's beautiful, you guys. Alright, let me just... The backs are a pain in the butt. I try to keep this stuff from accumulating back there, but it's next to impossible to do. Alright, um... I mean, I'm gonna get y'all down and let y'all look at it up close because it's really beautiful. I got two more of these that I've made the sand already on. And uh, if you didn't see the last video, I made that sand out of uh, hobby sand and glue. Um, you just get some, I used clear this time, uh, but either one works. And um, you just, um, See that lacing in that way? Look how pretty that is. Anyway, you just mix it up to where it's kind of putty-like. And, um, put it on there. And then give it a little time and it'll dry. And see, it's, you know, it's firm. Uh, it doesn't come off. Like, I could pick that up and it wouldn't come off. That's blurry. Uh, stupid thumb. Now it's clear. Anyway, I could pick up that piece and that sand is not going to come off. Now look at our wave up here, how pretty it turned out. Look at that. Beautiful. So next I'm going to put some shells on it and some uh, sea moss up here on the sand. Um, when I decide if I'm going to, I'm probably not going to resin the sand because I like it look, the authentic look of the real sand. And like I said, you don't need to seal it or put anything on it. It's fine just like it is. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you being here. Uh, if you have any questions about this, I ran through all this in a hurry. If you have any questions, please leave them, uh, leave them uh, in the comment section, and I'll certainly get back to you and discuss it with you. Um, it took me a while to learn how to do these, and I like my method now. So if you're curious about anything, please just let me know. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon.